Ever pondered why some individuals scale the slippery slope of success, leaving behind a trail of puzzled peers and slightly singed underlings? No, they're not sorcerers, though a potent memory potion might come in handy. They could just be practicing Machiavellianism. Welcome to an enlightening journey titled How to Be a Charming Monster, a Machiavelli masterclass for good or evil, mostly evil. You might ask, Machiavelli who? Niccolo Machiavelli, a 16th century Italian philosopher, penned an influential book aptly named The Prince. This wasn't your average nighttime fairy tale. It leaned more towards a how to win friends and influence people if you're a ruthless leader type of narrative. So let's dive into the core question. What exactly is Machiavellianism? Consider it the shadowy facet of personality traits. It revolves around being crafty, manipulative, and prioritizing self-interest above all else. Machiavellians resemble chess grandmasters, but instead of moving pieces, they maneuver people around the board to achieve their desired outcomes. Why should this matter to you? Aside from learning how to steer clear of these individuals, simply because Machiavellianism is omnipresent. In the corporate sphere, that charismatic executive who woos investors while covertly undermining competitors? A classic Machiavellian. In the political arena, the politician who pledges miracles while subtly shaping policies that fill their own coffers? Undoubtedly another one. Within your circle of friends? The buddy who ceaselessly outdoes you and subtly undermines you? A potential Machiavellian in the making. In your personal relationships? The partner who persistently pokes at your insecurities while lavishing affection when they require something? That could be a sign of a romantic Machiavellian. They might master the art of the silent treatment, employing emotional manipulation to achieve their objectives. Or perhaps they're the ultimate charmer, spinning a web of sweet nothings to secure your commitment and potentially your life savings. But isn't Machiavellianism inherently negative? Well, not necessarily. A dash of Machiavellian cunning can prove beneficial. Sometimes, a bit of strategic maneuvering might be necessary to move forward. The crucial aspect is to employ these tactics ethically, without leaving a wake of destruction behind. So, how can one identify a Machiavellian? Look out for these red flags. The charm offensive. They'll bombard you with compliments, but be wary. It's likely a tactic to gain something from you. The master manipulator. They'll distort situations and pit individuals against each other to further their agenda. The flexible concept of truth, facts aren't as significant as what serves their purpose. So what's the final takeaway? Machiavelli might have been a bit of a scoundrel, indeed a substantial one, but understanding Machiavellianism can assist in navigating life's complexities. Communication is key, and if your partner's cunning starts to feel more like emotional abuse, it's time to reevaluate the relationship. Remember, a healthy relationship should be built on trust, respect, and less scheming than a high stakes poker game. Bear in mind, with great power comes great responsibility and the potential to trip over your own web of deceit. Use this knowledge judiciously and perhaps refrain from applying it on your boss, unless you're truly desperate for that corner office.